All right, we're back. Now we're going to show similar kinds of things as we did for resistors. Now this time we're going to do it for capacitors. I have a capacitance box. So I'm going to show how capacitors add up in series and parallel. Now in the theory class, we learned that in series, capacitors add up opposite to how capacitors, uh, how resistors add up. So they kind of uh, make each other a weaker capacitor in series. And then in parallel, the capacitors enhance each other. So you just basically add them. So if we first measure the capacitance of each, I'm going to put this capacitor at 0 0.2. 0 0.2, and the units are microfarads. Turn this on. Okay, it's going to show me 202.1 nanofarads. Okay, so that's my C1, 202.1 nanofarad, which is 0.202 microfarad, because micro is 10 to the minus 6, so you go back 1, 2, 3, 0.202 microfarads. So now this time we'll jump directly to a combined circuit with uh, three capacitors. Instead of do going two capacitors at a time. So we'll do the ohm meter again. We'll do C1, C2, C3. Okay? So uh, we'll connect here, we'll go from here to here to C1, then we're going to go uh, connect C, uh, C1 to C2, and then close the circuit. It's very similar to how we did with resistors. And then we're going to put C3 in parallel across the C2. Okay, we're getting a capacitance of 165.1 nanofarad, which is 0 0.1651. 0 0.1651. 0.1651 microfarad. So how would the theoretical be? Well, these are parallel. You simply add them. Just add them. C prime, we can say C2 plus C3. C2 plus C3, and you get uh, 0.9 six microfarad. And then the combination of that, which is C prime, is in series with this, so they add their reciprocals at. One over C total is one over C prime plus one over C one. So one over 0 0.9096 plus one over 0 0.2021. Okay, so 1 divided by 0 0.9096 plus 1 divided by 0 0.2021, and then reciprocate that. C total is 0.1654, very close to what we got here, okay? So the system works. You see, they, the capacitors add up differently. If this was resistors, we would have done the reciprocal here. But for capacitors, you simply add them. Okay? The other way you could do this, similar to how we did for resistors, would be to say C1 and C2 is in series. Okay? 
So how would that change? Just similar to how we did for resistors, this will stay the same, except that C3 will go on the two opposite ends. So one of these goes to this end, where it goes to the ohmmeter. The other side goes to the opposite end. So the, the, connect, the, side, the, the two uh, parts that are connected to each other are not going to be connected in the circuit. This one is going to go to this end. And now we're going to get 0.642 microfarads. This one is directly giving us the answer in a microfarad, 0.642. Okay, so theoretically, how do we do it? We say 1 over C, uh, we can call it C prime again, is equal to 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2. So add them again and reciprocate again. And then reciprocate. 0.13, so C prime is going to be 0.1347 microfarads. And then that one is in parallel with that, so simply just add it. C total equals C prime plus C3. So take the answer there and add it to that. So I'm just going to do it on the calculator. Point six four oh eight or point six four one. And the answer we got from the instrument was point six four two. So that's working. You could do all kinds of other combinations. You could include more capacitors if you wanted to. Uh, now I wanted to show you this uh, one. This helps us visualize what a capacitor is. This is called uh, the basic parallel plate capacitor. I'm gonna take these little buttons. Okay, and just put them in different corners of this. And then I'm going to create an air gap. By creating an air gap, basically what a capacitor is, is two plates separated by either an air gap or by some kind of an insulating material. So I'm going to take this plate, put it on top. Okay, and in the lab we actually do this experiment and we prove the equation Capacitance is the surface area of the plate times the electrical primitivity of space divided by the distance between the plates, the, uh, the distance of the air gap. Okay? So this gives us the capacitance. The, the surface area will be the air surface area of the plates, or the capacitance. Usually these ones are going to be weaker, 0.236 nanofarads, because the, the distance D is bigger than like a real commercial capacitor. 0.237 nanofarad. So it came up 0.237 nanofarad. And then if we want to, we can calculate the area, the distance, and then using the electrical primit primitivity, we can prove the equation. The other thing we do that we learn in class is that when you put a dielectric or an insulating, some kind of dielectric material in the middle, like plastic, Depending on the dielectric constant of the material, the capacitance should go up by a factor known as kappa. Kappa is the dielectric constant of the material that you're using. Okay? So now you look here, 0 0.610, 0 0.610 nanofarads. So if I want to know the dielectric constant of the material, I take this number, take the ratio of that. That tells me the dielectric constant. So that's going to be is roughly about two to, uh, two to three uh, ratio. And that is actually very close to what the dielectric constant of the if you look up plastic 
and look up uh, online polished styrene sheet, uh, plastic sheets, their dielectric constants are roughly about two and a half, and that's actually the answer that we got. Okay? So now you can see how the dielectric affects the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor or any other kind of capacitor, and how the capacitors add up in series and parallel. Thank you.